By tradition, we end each academic year joining together as a community. It offers us the chance to celebrate successes, to recognise achievement, and to join together like the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle that, only when connected, make sense. It is this idea of the jigsaw puzzle that will form the theme for this year's assembly. It would be remiss if we did not take the time to acknowledge that this year, more than any other in our recent history, has been somewhat puzzling. For our year 11 and year 13 students working towards their GCSE and A-level exams, the picture they were working towards, piecing together after two years of study, was abruptly taken away. The outline of the jigsaw puzzle was complete. They were on the final leg where everything begins to make sense, where the pace picks up and the satisfying sense of completion is close at hand, only to find that the picture they were building towards has changed from a swan-filled lake to Pablo Picasso's figures at the seaside. For all of us, the past few months have seen huge change, from the way we shop to the way that we see our friends and family, and in particular, the way that we learn. We've all felt frustrated, annoyed, and quite possibly angry. And that, Heart of England, is all right. It is right that we have felt these frustrations, we might have lost our temper on occasions because for the past few months, what we have known, how we can interact with others, and what we have considered to be normal has had to be put on hold. Pablo Picasso once said, the world today doesn't make sense, so why should what I paint do that? This may well sum up how many of you have felt about distance learning. Why should we do schoolwork when everything is so abnormal? The answer can be found in the old Persian saying, this too shall pass. Slowly, those things that were taken away from us are returning. The opportunity to see friends and family, to enjoy the outside more widely, and perhaps most importantly, the chance to get a haircut. We might have to go about these activities differently. We might have to plan and think about what we do in a slightly different way and much more carefully, but a sense of normality is beginning to return. For those of you who might worry that important pieces of the jigsaw puzzle are missing in your learning, that there are gaps that you feel will never be filled, do not worry. Throughout my remarks, the pronoun we has featured heavily. I can think of these past few months as a jigsaw puzzle. I might feel that nothing makes sense. I might feel that important pieces are missing and that I will never be able to make everything fit. What all of this tells me is that I need to take a break and allow myself to enjoy other distractions and activities. But when I return in September, I know that we will be able to make sense of the jigsaw. The staff, students, governors, and parents will be the missing pieces that help make everything make sense. I might not be able to make sense of it all, but we will. Working together, 
we can find the missing pieces. Working together, we can make each piece fit. Working together, we make sense. When we welcome one another back in September, when we welcome our new joiners into their school, we know that we can lean on one another and make sense of the jigsaw puzzle. There are no extra pieces in the universe. Everyone is here because he or she has a place to fill and every piece must fit into the big jigsaw puzzle. Deepak Chopra. There are no extras at Heart of England School. We're all vital. We're all part of the big picture and never has it been more apparent than in the last few months when so many pieces have been missing from so many of our daily lives. We've really missed you. We've missed you very much. Everything's been so different. As Mr. Bennett says, things are now opening up. We are returning to those we've not seen for ages, but it still feels so very, very strange. And so much has changed. I'm really proud of you. So proud of you. I'm really proud of how you've coped and risen to the challenges of distance learning and being apart from each other. You've really done so well, and you really need to hear that. Your own jigsaw puzzles have your unique picture on them. And you've been sharing some of those pieces in lockdown with Twitter takeovers and events and challenges. And it's so strange at this point in time, speaking to an empty hall, looking out at an empty space. At this time of year, there'd be such a buzz. We so much energy as you all pile over to the sports hall and all sitting there on the floor, just under a thousand of us all together, excited for the summer holiday. And the thought of spending more time at home there's a real irony in that. Who would have ever imagined, who would have ever thought the events that the past two terms could have happened? Usually, in our end-of-year assembly, we do look forward as well as look back. And I think it is time now to look forward. The restrictions are easing, and I really hope that you do find some time to safely enjoy the increased freedoms. As an American comedian once said, I want to make a jigsaw puzzle, and when you finish it, it simply says, go outside. We will all hopefully all be together again in September, and each of us, each of us, makes Heart of England such a wonderful and special place. Each one is vitally important to the whole picture. Each of us, a key piece, of that special jigsaw. For now though, enjoy the summer and remember just how important and how cared for you truly are, even though we haven't seen some of you for so very, very long. We're working hard to make your return safe, smooth and as happy as possible. So until then, enjoy being outside if and when you can and keep safe, keep well. See you soon.